uh, Hujambo. My name is uh, Rugare Mugumbati. I am an academic interested in philosophy and theory, mainly in social work and uh, development, but also in education more generally. Uh, for Africa, our philosophy and theories exist as symbols or in oral or art uh, forms. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, beads and how as symbols or as dressing or as art, they are also philosophy, they are also theory, and they are a representation of uh, Ubuntu. I'm showing two women from uh, Kenya. Uh, the colors, uh, the patterns, the positions, the sizes, as well as the styles of the beads they have got meaning, uh, although these meanings uh, vary from uh, place to uh, place. Black, for example, represents people, it represents humanity, it represents uh, families. The color orange represents community, it represents hospitality and generosity. The color green represents uh, land. The color white, uh, it represents milk, which is uh, the source of life. So like I said, uh, this varies from community to community for others the white bead may mean a different thing. Red represents blood uh, of livestock, which is the source of life. Uh, blue, it represents the sky, which again is the source of life. Yellow, it represents animal skin uh, for clothing and for uh, protection. There are many ways of um, using uh, these uh, beads uh, across Africa, others use them as necklaces, um, headgear, uh, bracelets. They are just different ways of uh, using them. And like I said before, they also carry different uh, meanings. However, there is a deeper meaning to all of them. And that deeper meaning is Ubuntu. They are... Ubuntu values conveyed by these uh, beads. For example, uh, black represents people, it represents humanity, it represents family. Community is represented by orange, and this represents the different levels of Ubuntu. At the inner, at the core, is family. At the next level is community. Then there is the environment represented here by land as well as the environment itself. Then at the last level, the outer level, there is spirituality represented by the yellow beads or the yellow color. So this is a deeper meaning. They are not just beads. They represent a deeper meaning. They convey philosophy. They are um, uh, educative and they convey uh, theories and this is why they are uh, important. They are not just an artistic expression, they are knowledge. Uh, so more about uh, Ubuntu, so black uh, represents humanity, Africa or blackness, uh, orange represents community, uh, green represents the land, then the environment is represented by um, uh, red white and uh, blue and at the end yellow represents uh, spirituality it is common for for writers students leaders politicians artists uh, influencers publishers and aid people to ignore or tell incomplete stories about uh, africa the incomplete stories they ignore the philosophy behind its symbols addressing uh, art uh, or um, origin uh, the picture showing here it is a nice representation of uh, the beads, but it is missing other elements. For example, spirituality is missing in there. And even Ubuntu itself is missing. So it's an incomplete story that talks about aspects of African art uh, culture, but does not link that to uh, Ubuntu. So there is a common philosophy. There is a binding philosophy, which is uh, Ubuntu. How do we address uh, this? Uh, we Africans have to tell our stories uh, and listen to ourselves. Uh, we have to tell, let us, let us tell each other 
our stories, of course, and listen uh, to each other. So the listening aspect is really important, listening to ourselves, but also listening to others telling us our stories. Let us value and use philosophy and theories contained in our uh, stories. Let us be our stories, experience our stories. In all our communities, we have many unwritten stories that are crucial for social work and development. They are crucial for research and education, teaching and learning, mentoring and supervision, uh, field work and office work. Uh, working, um, uh, they are crucial at home, but also in the community. They are crucial in the village, but also in the villa or in the, uh, in the suburb. It shows how important um, and prevalent our philosophies are and what we could do uh, to ensure that our philosophies and theories contained in our symbols, in our art, in our culture are used in our work as well as in our learning. It is important uh, to tell our stories, listen to ourselves, hear others tell the stories and listen to uh, them. Our uh, and uh, the story of uh, beads uh, here and hope to hear stories from others as well. Asande, asande sana.